Magu. Karen is categorized as an electro sword user, but she actually uses both a sword and a pistolet to attack her enemies during combat. Now, her normal attack deals physical damage by performing up to five consecutive strikes. During her charged attack, Cloran uses her pistolet to target enemies in a V shape in front of her. In fact, Cloran's elemental skill, Hunter's Vigil, is an ability that demonstrates how potent she can be when she's focused. Check this out. During combat, unleashing Cloran's elemental skill will cause her to enter the Night Vigil state. During this state, Cloran can unleash two different types of special attacks. Her normal attacks will be converted into Swift Hunt Pistolet attacks, and her elemental skill will be converted into a lunging attack, Impale the Knight. Huh, it looks like Clarion gains a bond of life during her elemental skill. Does the skill have any additional effects? Oh, good perception on those eyes. Those Swift Hunt Pistolet attacks increase Cloran's bond of life, and her lunging attack, Impale the Knight, will clear the bond of life. So when her bond of life is like relatively low, her Swift Hunt Pistolet attacks have a piercing effect, and they deal greater damage. But when her bond of life is relatively high, her lunging attack, Impale the Knight, has a greater AoE and deals higher damage. Again, ah, gotcha, I get it. Unique talents. So when she's in the Knight Vigil state, any healing other than the one provided by her lunging attack, Impale the Knight, will be converted into a bond of life. This ability allows her to swiftly evade enemy attacks and strike her opponents. Her burst deals AoE electro damage and grants her a bond of life based on her max HP. On the strength of her companions after unlocking her passive talent, Dark Shattering Flame. Man, that sounds cool. So, when a nearby party member triggers an electro-related reaction, the electro damage dealt by her normal attack and her elemental burst will increase based on her attack value. Lorand also has another passive talent called Lawful Remuneration. If her bond of life is greater than or equal to a certain percentage, then a change in her bond of life value will increase her crit rate. That's right. And while she's in the night vigil state, the percentage of healing converted into a bond of life will increase. Wow. Yeah. And finally, being a champion duelist gives Clorand a strong familiarity with all the regions of Fontaine. So when she's in your party, Clorand can reveal the locations of Fontaine regional resources on the minimap. <laughs> <laughs>